Why I look like a scabby drowned rat. Dude, are you gonna go get a mop shop? Sitting down to pee as a man. <laughs> this is like a sly opportunity. Oh, we are feeling good. Good morning, you gentlemanly scholar. Uh, so, I've spent the, like an hour this morning chatting with one of my friends who's also a creator in the UK. And hearing like how things are going for him, moi a jealous. French for me and jealous, that's not what I meant. I, I'm jealous. <laughs> um, but like, I, I'm also, like last, I think yesterday, so yesterday was Sunday. Oh my gosh, you're going at speed of light, bruv. Yesterday, we got um, a notice that we, like I'd missed something out on our taxes from two years ago. So I'm gonna have to sort that out, that's like 10 grand. And then you have car taxes and then a couple of other things and you start to realize that like life is so expensive. Now I'm not saying I'm on the wire and we don't have enough money, but what I am saying is that um, I'm probably gonna have to make more money than I am right now from content. But that puts, in, puts me in kind of like a, I'm in a unique position like, because to make more money I just have to make more videos. So it means I put like the side projects, you know, spend less time on the side projects and more time on the main project, which in this case is TikToks. So we're gonna work on a, a getting a TikTok done today, getting it planned, shot, edited, and out today, all right? That's gonna be our main focus. This kind of goes against everything I was saying about, you know, having to fork out lots of money. We're gonna, I'm gonna take the dog to get groomed this morning. <laughs> so I'll drop her off and then we'll see what she looks like a good few hours later. But in between then, focus. That's all we're doing, we're focusing. I, I, I've got a couple of concepts in mind. I can stick them on the board. I, one of them was gonna do my hand in lotion again for 24 hours. Last time it did like five or six million views. But the reason for that one last time was because I saw someone else do it. And like I tagged the guy in the video, so it's not like I just stole his idea. But this time my fingers are like, and the fingertips are really dry. And this one is cracking, like has cracked. So I think wearing gloves with um, lotion in it for 24 hours, could be interesting, so I might start that one today. And the other video might be the 200 day update on my hair. I think this is, the, I think this is the difficult thing. When you get in the situation that I'm in right now, which is, I mean, overall, it's not just after the few notices yesterday. I'm still in this mode of making content to make money, right? Because like I need to make a certain amount of money. We're not at a point where I can just take like a week off or I could just start making only the content I want to make because I know that enough money will come in from it and I have enough money. So like doing the 200 day hair update, I get caught here because one, I'm not like crazy enthused about making that video. I'm not mad about wanting to do that. But on the flip side, I know it's a video that will do well and get lots of views and then earn money. And then in the third part of it is that sometimes I need to not be as selfish. I need to make content that other people may enjoy too. So people, like from what it seems like, people are very interested in what happens when you don't shampoo your hair, like at each of the different marks. And then when we get to, you know, as we're at 200 days, I feel like that's super interesting to find out what does, what does your hair look like if you do not use shampoo for like two thirds of a year? And so that's where I think being a content creator is kind of like, you have to be selfish in doing the things you want to do, but you also have to start thinking about what does the viewer want? What do people want to see? And I need to start thinking or be thinking a bit more about things from that perspective. So I think we'll do the hair one. And I have tons of clips from that to make it, it's just, where do I take the video? Because I feel like there haven't been too many 
major issues I've had. I also want to start doing a few videos where I just, I have the experience, film the whole experience, and then I make the video backwards from that. Like the Airport Healy's video, I think that's, that's just shy of a million views right now. And that, I'll link it below, but that video, I just filmed random bits of the airport. Like literally, it's just clips as I traveled from Kansas City to England. And I happened to make a really nice story out of it, a really cool story out of it, with no plan. So like I feel like I should do that a bit more because it makes the process a bit more fun than, you know, as much as I love planning out the video and then just shooting bits for that video, there's also times when I want to really enjoy the experience and then see if I can make a video out of it. Which I think will bring me out of this super serious stance that I'm in at the moment with the videos. Like I feel like the crisis is something that literally is gonna kill you or keep you alive. And I want to get out of that. I want to bring more of the like laissez-faire, the laid back enjoyment approach to the videos. All right, showers weren't working at the gym this morning, so like, why I look like a scabby drowned rat. So let's go shower, get some work in, have some brekkie, drop the dog off, get stuck in. Let's, let's do this. Shouldn't have done that, sorry. All right, we're gonna take dude out to get groomed now, but I thought we should see some before and after. So there you go, there's a nice action shot. Dude, come here. Duda, we're gonna go get groomed. Duda! You wanna go get groomed, Duda? Come here. Good girl. Oh yeah, that's good. Alright, quick little um pirouette, please. Very nice, Duda. Looking a bit like you packed on a few pounds, Duda. You wanna go in the car? You wanna go in the car? Come on then, let's go. Good girl. Alright, be right back. Of filming so I'm editing this video right now and the number of times I've mentioned trigger words for her and she just keeps getting up watch this it's okay just the video it's all right just the video tutor beautiful <laughs> good gear all right thank you Tita. you excited Duda? Dude, are you gonna go get a mop chop? I was thinking this morning, after I had a chat with one of my friends, that so this is about content. I expected by this point that brands and agencies and companies would have come around to the fact that you don't sell, people don't buy things in, here are the specs, here's what you get, blah, 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 like sales type videos. Do you wanna look out the window? You can go out the other side. And uh, yeah, I thought they would have come around, but they haven't. And so what does well, where do people get paid all this money? They get paid in the videos that, do you wanna look out the window, Duda? They get paid in these videos that do talk about the specs and are more like sales videos. So I had this video in ages, this idea ages ago now, maybe a year or so ago, that instead of just doing my storytelling videos, what if I also add in a video that's more just talking about a product or something that's used in the video? So like, let's say I do a, a video about a new speaker or a, let's say, just say a power generator. So if my style of video is using it for something crazy or something weird, that's good. But then I do a second video, which is more about the specs and the features of the product. So it becomes, for brands, the storytelling video that does get lots of views is a, like the top of the filter for this spec type video. So if you know, if brands are looking for that spec type video, 
I can offer them the two parts. One video to get major views to drive traffic to this other video that's more what they're looking for and perhaps that would entice brands to consider me and my account an option. An option, right? But I'm... It's interesting, as my wife and I were talking about this, to her it's like, I mean, yeah, why wouldn't you do that? But to me, I think about it from a branding perspective as if, let's consider me and my TikTok account as, I do that, as Nike or Adidas in this case. If you were to go to Nike or Adidas, you wouldn't expect to see anything other than sports related equipment. Like if you saw that they now started selling books about I don't know, BDSM, you'd be like, oh, kind of what's going on here? And, and that's kind of the same way I think about it for my brand. I expect people to see my videos, see my name and be like, oh, it's a story type of video. I'm looking forward to seeing how this story grows or how the character grows through this story. Hold on, dude. But then like, what if the brand becomes, Oliver does do both storytelling videos and does more of this spec type of video so if i see he does a video on uh, a generator i should expect to see a video that has more about the specs and the information about it and like that should be i should make that in the fashion of someone would want to see that video because they've actually thought the use case of the product is pretty cool you know so I think it can be worked, but I think I'm gonna have to, I'll have to think about that. That if there's a product used in a video, there should also be another video that follows up talking about the product that's used. I think that's the direction I almost have to go at this point. If I want to make any, and like, if I want these deals and these brands to recognize my content as an option for them. Oh my God. Okay. Slow as molasses. All right, we're basically here. I'm gonna take Dude in. Dude, I can't wait to see what she looks like. I have a photo of it, so I'll stick it on the screen now of what we're going for. And then I guess next time you see Duda, we'll see if she got that haircut or not. Or anything close to that. The thing about Labradoodles and any kind of poodle mix is that they mat so badly. So whatever time you spend in not having to um, pick up their fur and vacuum up their fur, for a doodle mix, you spend that time in how much it costs to get them groomed or brushing them at home. Like I think she's costing like 80 to $100 to get done, which is crazy to get dog groomed. Right. BRB, yo. All right, we've got her off. It, today, this is this section right here is gonna be very slow. And right? this is me just kind of like talking through and thinking through my thoughts because I feel that I have so much going on at the moment. There's so much going on. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going and I don't see what the end looks like. What do I mean by that? I mean, there's nothing, I, I, what, uh, uh, let me talk through the things that I don't think are going as well as they could be or should be. I think the number of videos I'm producing on TikTok, not where I want it to be. Number two, brand deals. Number one, there's no, I don't see as many coming in as I would like. And two, the rate at which those are at is nowhere close to what I think it should be at. And I think about that purely from a business perspective, purely from this is what I can offer from, you know, views and engagement, right? Next thing is the social automation piece. So the clips that come out of here, 
I don't think the guy is just who's been working on that I get the impression now that he doesn't actually know what he's doing he's kind of just bumbling his way through it and every time there's an error he's thinking he solved it but he's because he doesn't really understand this is my opinion he doesn't really understand what he's doing and what he's changing to know exactly what's happening and so I feel like he, he said he fixed something this morning. It hasn't fixed the issue. And at this point, I've wasted two, three weeks. I don't know how many hours of my time he's wasted. I don't know how many hours of his time and we're nowhere closer. And I've already paid him. I've already tipped him. Nice guy, but just I don't think he's good at his what he's doing. Doesn't have the right mindset. So I might have to then pay more to have someone else just start again from scratch. So essentially I've paid two people to do it and wasted a ton of time. But it's kind of like, the way I look at this is kind of like gambling, that you cut your losses at a certain point. You don't just keep gambling. Like I think the bad choice for me to make is to keep going with this guy and hoping that he'll fix it. I think I just need to stop wasting my time, pay, and this isn't like a backhanded thing, pay a true professional and get the job done. So those are three things that aren't going, you know, particularly the way I'd want it to. And then you have the additional um, expenses that have come in and it's the end of year. So um, things are always more expensive at the end of year. My wife's family is bloody huge. So there's lots of gifts and stuff to give there. <laughs> I'm not worried about the money i'm i'm just thinking about where the things i have in play at the moment are going because they're not in the space that i want them to be at so my plan let's go home and work on a plan right let's rub off the whiteboard <laughs> rub off <laughs> That's not funny. Uh, clean the whiteboard, list out the things that I'm having trouble with, and look at potential solutions to solving those problems. Oh, look, there's Shane Rugies driving in front of us. Hello, my misters. What are you up to? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hi. You going for a walk, Rugies? Rugie, I just dropped Duda off to go get groomed. You think she'll look pretty later? She's gonna look so cute, isn't she? All right, enjoy your walk, Rugies. All right, I love you. Hey. Love you too. Bye, Rugs. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, babe. Oh, I got the extra fees taken off. Like the extra brushing fee and then the dematting thing. She was like, you won't need those with the state of how she is. She's in better shape than you guys must have thought. She's really mad. I guess she didn't think so. So it'll be like three, four hours at minimum. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, ready for a cool transition? Whiteboard. It's now 1 p.m. I stopped filming the last bit you saw, probably about 9.45, let's say 10 at the latest. It's been three hours since then. What the hell happened in the last three hours? Um, I did actually have a phone call with my manager to talk through one of the things we brought that ahead earlier than expected and then all right so so that got done which was nice and had a good i felt like that was a productive conversation um if i ha so uh, yeah let's wipe off this board if i had one 
Uh, yeah, if there was one thing that I really, really, really took from my last place I worked at was this thing called a mood elevator. So I'll draw it out now, hang on. I cut that bit out because I spent way longer doing this. Right, so the few things that I am having trouble with. Deals. Next thing I'm having trouble with is the, what did I say? The socials automation. So automation and output. All right, so let's say those, what's the, so more deals, finish, automation, and more output. All right, before I work on these, I think I want to share one thing that I really, really, really got from my the, the corporate America place I worked. And I say that because I just had a pretty tough, you would call it a critical conversation, so a potentially tough conversation that could go one way or the other. What the hell? All right, so what do, what's the first thing I think about when I go into these critical conversations is you have this thing called the mood elevator and you have different rungs along this. So you'll call this like, this just for ease, we call this super happy. Things could not be better. You're at the top of the world and down here you have bad boy. Things could not be any worse. And then like, I don't know, somewhere in here, you have an emotion like frustration, right? This being below this midpoint is gonna cause you to make bad decisions and things won't really go well. Whereas when you're typically on an emotional level in this upper space, things would go better. Like you're in a better mindset. So when I went into this conversation, I explained where I was that I am frustrated with certain things. I've been thinking through things. There are other things too. And like, I, I want this other person to take this into account when they consider what I'm saying. And that to me is more of a respect type of thing. It's like, here's the lens that you can see this conversation in to be able to understand what I'm trying to say and where I'm trying to get at. So that if I say something the wrong way, which would be on me, you don't, take it as I've, I've meant it that way. It's like, hang on a minute, it's slowed down. This is how I took it. Is that how you meant it? No, I'm very sorry. This is how I meant it, right? Just makes the conversation go a lot better in my opinion, much more constructive. So we have more deals, I want to finish the automation and more output. So I don't really know where I'm gonna go with this, but I'm thinking, how do I get more deals? Um, we had the thought that that's a negotiation tactics, uh, outreach tactics. Um, so basically I would say that for right now we've solved this problem. We're going to carry out the negotiations from a different stance. Uh, the way we reach out to brands is gonna be slightly different. And we found the biggest problem is brands will pass on my content. To, to give some context, it sounds ridiculous when I say this because I know it sounds big headed, but if I'm running at an, an average of 1 million views per video on TikTok and an engagement rate. I think the last time I checked, it was like 22%. That, I know, coming from myself, that's a very high engagement rate and that's a very high average view count, especially for someone with like under a million followers. So there's a, there's, a, there's a lot to pitch a brand, but these brands are more in this position of, we don't want to go into this, it's more of a risk because he doesn't just talk, he doesn't sell the product, like he's not selling the product in this video. And that's what we're looking for. But actually, that's not how people 
receive these videos. If you look at branded videos that are trying to sell you something, they do not do well organically. Organically means show up, showing up on the For You page. And the reason that it gets lots of views is because people really enjoyed the content. So what our plan is, is that for any time we reach out to a brand, that email or however that is, has to come with a concept. So it's, if I can think of anything right now, let's use HelloFresh is a perfect example, one that we have been trying to do. HelloFresh, they make meals to send to your home, which you still have to prepare and then whatever. But I want to do a series on learning how to professionally cut with a knife. That would be a perfect integration for something like HelloFresh because I'm cutting up food. So if we're emailing a brand and say, Oliver gets this many views, this engagement rate, which is higher than to be expected. The concept we're looking at doing with your brand is this, here are the benefits of it. Then all a brand has to do is be like, you see if, if the information they're reading is true, like, wow, this is a good one. Yeah, let's try this. Like the numbers are all there. It makes sense. Let's do it. So that's our new style. Okay. And then the finishing the automation is getting the clips from this out to the fan pages on YouTube. And currently it hasn't been working. However, over the past few hours, it seems to have been working and we're running another test now. So I think we decide that if this test doesn't work, I find out what the issue is. Why isn't it working? So if not working, why? And if the answer to that is simple fix, then good. If not sure why not working, then I kill it and I pay someone else to do it. I think that, that has to be the decision at this point. And then how do I get more output? So if I list off the things that are in my, oh, there it is, in my way at the moment, uh, the things that I'm doing is the finances are in my way. So I have to get, I can get those out of the done. The socials automation. I think we can get that out of the way. What else is there? See, I don't think because the finances stuff is like taxes and getting all the right accounts set up and whatnot, all that stuff. If we can have someone do that, we can get that done. And then, because these take up loads of little bits of my time. From that point, oh, one of the reasons is branded concepts. I think I need to dedicate time like in the morning or the evening or an hour at a certain part of the day to get those done. So I think, I feel like this puts us in a pretty good place. I feel better about the deal situation. I feel that I have a decision to make about the automation if it does or doesn't work. But like from the previous test, it looks like it worked. So I just need to validate um, that it works again a few more times. And then how do I get more output? I take the finances out, which is in progress, the socials automation, which will be done. And then working on brands concepts will be a consistent flow. And so I think I dedicate 
a bit of time each day to doing that in one, like, let's say my manager asks for concepts on three brands at different times of day, let's just do that at the end of the day, yeah? I think, I think that's right, I think, I think that puts me in a much more comfortable position. Like less stuff swirling around in my head. Okay, quarter past one. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think, okay, that, that's good. All right, let's do, let's let's plan out the 200 days, no poo. I don't think I'm gonna have to be filming much more for that. I think I can use everything I've got. So it's just the plan of the sh thing and the script. Yeah, yes, yes. It's crazy, isn't it? How it feels like I'm just making sure I was actually recording. It feels like I'm just a content creator. Like I just make TikToks, right? But, and I could, I could just make TikToks. I could stop doing this. I could stop um, trying to get the social automations done. And then the few other small things But I think I've just been so all over the place, just mentally, with different things going on. That I need that kind of, I need some kind of order in my life. Order. Crisis, banana, climactic choice. Finale, strength, process, result, yes, yes. Oh, we are feeling good. I'm feeling good. It's funny how just writing all that stuff out has made me feel so much more relief. Okay, let's, I think I need to go through my, previous scripts. Let me take a quick toilet break. We'll be right back. All right, I am... In the time it's taken for me to go to the ladies' room, men's room... <laughs> to sitting down to pee as a man... Let me, let me... This is so embarrassing to say, okay? Sitting down to pee is the ultimate femininity in a man. I'll go out there and say that. Try and cancel me. It doesn't matter, because I'll stick with that. Because... Just try going to sleep. Just try going to pee in the middle of the night. Do it sat down, trust me. You are in a whole new world of not having to wake up properly. You sit down, take care of business, go back to bed. Just try it and then come back to this and be like, wow, Oliver, you are a genius. Also really sexy and handsome, but that bit, you know. But don't, you can never pee sitting down any other time. It's unacceptable. Look, clip that, okay? <laughs> it's not funny either. Uh, all right, so yeah, between just going to the bathroom and back, I've realized, I was like, how? One of my friends gets just crazy deals and he's always getting inbound emails from brands. He's like, how does he get those? And I've come to the conclusion and I've just messed with him too. It's because he, I think it's hashtags. So I think I need to start properly researching what hashtags I should be using in my videos so that brands and agencies can start finding my videos and see how a product fits in, or, or at least just seeing the videos. All right, so the no poo 200 days. So if I write down a couple of notes that I'm thinking is that um, I didn't really have any issues. I found that my hair has actually been really good, but I think 
the big comeuppance, the big issue or thing that I think I can make out of this video is people are continuously suggesting you try different things. So like, try aloe vera, try eggs, and a couple of other things. I'll look through the comments, but actually we don't want that. We want to go full natural, right? Like why, what's the point in using things to clean your hair if the whole point is to let your hair do its own thing? So I think we get this thing out of my face, bro. I think we go on that. So, um, I think we go with the floor as being easily persuaded. Easily persuaded in the strength is that I'm not easily persuaded. Uh, what is it? Trust yourself. Okay. So, what has the want been in previous videos? I'll record my screen. All right, there we go. We go to 100 days. I went no poo for 100 days to see if human hair could naturally clean itself. For the first 30 days, I locked away my shampoo. I guess that's our hook, isn't it? I'll just copy the hook over. Post, I wouldn't be tempted because I normally wash my hair every two to three days. But the comments I received after I shared my experience of the first 16 days about dandruff, greasiness, and hair loss had me questioning if this was too unhealthy to keep going. Jinkies. Needing a haircut. Um, so the catch in that video is people's comments. Um, I don't know why I'm using the video when I could just use the actual script. So silly. So silly. Alright, let me bring it up here. Poo. Hundred days no poo. Alright, so we have point of no return. Here's how the first video went. We have the hook and then you have, for the first 30 days, I locked my shampoo away so I wouldn't be tempted because I normally wash my hair every two to three days. So that's me explaining that I've been doing it. Like, it's part of me that thinks I keep that in there. Like, there'll be so many people that have never seen the first video that, I mean, goodness me, that did 5.3 million views. But even so. What is my point of no return? What is the reason that I, like, that I started and can't go back? Do we take these videos in a slightly different direction? I th honestly, I think I use the same, if we're, if we're talking about doing this from a, a views perspective, which I don't, I don't really want to be in. But also, what's the point in making a video to give people more information about it if you don't make the video in a way that does well? Double-edged sword. Mm. Okay. 
Alright, so let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. I think for the first hundred, oh wait. For the first hundred days, so... I think, I think we go on the same idea, like, lock away for first 30 days. And then the problem with locking it away was that what is going on? People having a chat in the grass outside their house. How dare they? It's work hours. Oh, wait. Locked away for the first 30 days and hate comments. So I tried natural remedies. So I tried natural remedies okay and then so I gave in so I gave in and tried natural remedies right like the, these are my favorite parts to the, to the script writing process where you do or say something that that gives the viewer the inference, makes them realize the flaw. Like you don't want to say, now the problem is I'm easily persuaded. And like the other interesting thing is like most of the time, People won't pick up, like if, if someone watches one of my videos, they'll probably won't be able to tell you what the exact flaw is. They probably, I mean, unless they just do it from memory, but they probably won't be able to tell you what my strength is. Do I want them to, to realize without thinking about it? No, because I want them to just be invested. I think it's all a subconscious thing that they're invested in seeing someone who has something wrong with them, like a something that's kind of relatable, can be easily persuaded, and they see well, ha what happens to this person. Do they realize that actually that's not a good trait to have, that they should do things on their own accord? So maybe that's kind of a part that I'm missing, is that I get the person more invested at this point. So... Yeah, let's come back to this. And I really want to highlight this I gave in bit. To make it, yeah, maybe that's part of something I'm missing. Let's make someone really see that actually this guy has a, <laughs> a mental issue that affects him getting through this whole video. All right, so what things do I try? So I gave in and tried natural remedies uh, like eggs, baking soda. What else did I try? Anything? The result was made my hair dry. See, I could very easily go from this bit here to the crisis, which is uh, realizing I want to go full natural. made my hair dry. So then 
people suggested. Oh, wait. This is a... <laughs> This is like a sly opportunity to throw shade at some people who started copying me. I'm not going to say it. Well, I just did, but I think I don't mean it as a copy. Like I found at least two other creators. Oh, and the needle mat series. I found a couple of other creators that have copied me. And I would say, I say this just because of how many views my videos on these topics got that they've likely seen that and been like, that will get views, let me try it. Or at least they've seen it and been like, actually, I think that fits really well with my brand and my audience. I'll do that too. Um, uh, seeing other people also try Suggestions of aloe vera and whatever else, aloe vera plus others. Um, and then I think we can get into here. So I tried eggs, baking soda, but they made my hair really dry. Therefore, I saw other people also trying no poo. Who gave suggestions of aloe vera and other things. But... Um... Yeah, but I realized I wanted to go full natural. And this is the part where we start to move away from the floor and the choices that we make next take us away from the floor and into the strength of trusting ourselves. So I realized that I want to go, like if I was gonna do this and go no poo to be natural, then I'll go full natural. Uh, actually, no. Let me throw down something else. Realizing I want to go full natural. Realizing I'm just substituting shampoo. I'm just substituting poo. Right, because, I mean, this is really what happened. Like people were suggesting all these different things, but I actually felt that I didn't need to. I really did want to push through with actually being full natural. So, but people suggested aloe vera and other things that I'll find out. So then my lowest point is, I realized if I want to go full natural, if I want to do this properly, then I need to go full natural. No. Just substituting, hang on, let me think. What is up with these pens, why are you doing this? Just subbing, um, Shampoo for other things when real goal was full natural. Okay. So this is, this is the point that I realize I come out of this place of doing what other people are telling me to do. And I'm now in a place where I'm starting to take control. 
Um, so do I try other natural, I don't know, shampoos? Or go full natural? Oh, that's me dividing them up. <laughs> What's our banana here? What's our banana? Our banana is that... Nailed it. Okay, this should actually go here in a realization that I use nothing. Now use nothing. Yes, I think that. So um, I can take this from here. So there are suggestions of aloe vera and other things. And then we say, uh, but with, I'm kind of writing this as I'm talking it, so many suggestions. I lost sight of my, no, with so many, Gosh, this is dirty. People trying to persuade me, I lost sight of my actual goal. I thought about trying other natural shampoos Giving up. I don't want to see, I want to say giving up in like a super dramatic sense. Like, or just being done with this. But now, I realized that I was just subbing shampoo for other things when the real goal was to go full natural. So I've done nothing. I think I literally, I don't think I've used anything. I'll have to check back through my other videos, but I don't think I've used anything since the first video or like the second video, whichever was the 30 day video. No. Eggs or baking soda was a second or third video, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, just subbing for other things and real good was, I realize I'm just subbing shampoo for other things when the real goal was to go full natural. When the real goal was full natural. So I trusted myself. So I don't, I can say, so I. This is tough, where I'm, when I look at this, I think if I ignore, if I say that I ignore everyone's comments, then there's no reason for people, for people to comment. Now I'm not saying I want the comment because I want people to, like you want comments, for two things. One, because it's gonna help the video do better, a small amount. And two, because you want people to feel like they have a stake in the game. You want them to feel like their suggestion is considered. 
so I'm not sure quite. I can hear Ruger. All right, give me a minute and then we can finish off the finale. I realized that I haven't really done anywhere. There needs to be somewhere before, before here, like in this area, that mentions like the different stages that pass. So I think I have to sh sh something in here of like as 100 days, then 150 days. Maybe another one passed. So many people, so many people were trying to persuade me what to do. I lost sight of my goal. Yes. And the finale. Where did I have, like, so with this section, you can see that I'm starting to move away from being persuaded by other people. Um, do I try other shampoos, other natural shampoos, or just use real shampoo? or real poo. <laughs> so then, what the hell is this? So now, Realized I was just subbing shampoo for other things when the real goal was to go full natural. So realized I was just subbing blah blah blah. Natural. And at two, it's like two twenty something days my hair is better than ever and doesn't smell like and then I think we insert we insert a funny comment there your mum's See, I'm, I'm learning to stop myself now. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, oh look, low poo, or whatever that is. Now I just script this out. I don't think I can film it without taking a shower because I should not have my hair like this, should I? Unless I just make my hair look super gross for the video. Yeah, I quite... Oh, this bit we wanted to figure out. So I... Um... So we're using the word persuade me. I might, I might use a different word for persuade instead of that. Ow. Because of the reading level. All right, let's just. Chat GPT. Um, give me five synonyms for the word Persuade 
at a fifth grade reading level. So I can hear Rugi shouting out the window above my room and then it's coming in through my window. <laughs> Rugi! Stunned him. So, it, I should ask, is the word persuade, is the word persuade a fifth grade reading level word? Slightly above fifth grade reading level. Um, people trying to talk me into. People trying to tell me what to do. Yeah, I think that's way better. I think that was a really hard thing for me to come over when I started making content was switching from this corporate America way of life, which you, you should use big words. You want to sound smart. You want to people know, want people to know what you can do to content where it's the, almost the exact opposite of that. You want to use words that are a lesser reading level. You don't want to, um, talk about all the things you've done, like in terms of digging yourself up, the less relatable you look, the less people enjoy the content. Now I know that's kind of a double-edged sword because it's like, well, if, if you know that, then you're actively trying to be more relatable. I don't think it's that. I don't, I, I try not to read into it that far. I don't want to fake being who I am just for content. I want to be, I want to be who I am. Obviously, I don't really know where I was going with that after that. People trying to tell me what to do. So I locked the shampoo away for the first 30 days and got loads of hate comments. So I gave up. On my real goal, so I So I was, so I was convinced, maybe I'll look at changing that word as well, to give up on my real goal. Maybe I'll explain that. Like what is my real goal? Real goal is going fully natural. So I was convinced, so I was convinced to give up on my real goal and try other remedies, other remedies. Yes. Like shampoo, eggs, baking soda. Yes. Um, okay. Let me. Copy, convince, damn it, convince. Okay, cool, fifth grade, convince is at a fifth grade reading level, brilliant. Okay, 2.15, spent about an hour doing that as long as the other, alongside the other gibberish that we spoke. I'm going to script this out and then I'll talk it out loud on here. See what you think. No, I guess, you know what? I could actually, I could record a lot of this, but I want this final clip to be me here. 
which means there's gonna have to be some other section. Oh no, it doesn't have to be. I was thinking there needs to be another section which shows that I'm talking to the camera, telling the story. Yeah, the first, the very intro. Yes. Okay, I think I can record everything but the intro and the extra part. All right, let's go do that. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Duda, oh my goodness, hi. You were a lot of work, were you, Duda? <laughs> oh dear, you poor people. Were you nice at least? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duda, Duda, what are you doing? Go on, Duda. Duda, what are you doing? Duda, where's Shay Shay? Duda! Duda! Oh my gosh! Duda! Uh, we've come to the conclusion that this is not what we ordered. Duda! Duda, what happened to the rest of your fur? We took you in super shaggy. Like, I'm really mad. You're really mad. I'm really mad we paid for it because it's not what we asked for. I literally could have done it all for free. She was like, two people had to work on her. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I look at you against the sunset. Wow, dude. Dude, you're pretty cute. Such a pretty cute, dude. Daddy, you're so pretty too, honey. Oh, dude, you're like a greyhound. You're so fast. Oh, wow. That oh, yeah, give me some good scratches. Oh, yeah. Thanks. All right. See you tomorrow. Do you want to say bye, dude? Yeah, say goodbye. Dude, I say bye. Good girl. You know, it's funny, for something like this, I would actually use the word, like, cute, which, <laughs> for a man, is never ideal to be called cute, as every man will tell you. But, like, I just, <laughs> I turned on all my lights and things. So, I don't need this one on, I guess. But, like, with the blue lights, and then this one, and then I, there's another light bar that goes up around there that I couldn't get to work. <laughs> And then I've got this one here. <laughs> Just like, I wanted it to, not necessarily, well, I did want it to look nice for the video, but I also like the idea of like it looking nice and doing a little bit of what I'm about to do. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> My iPad's almost dead. All right, so first thing is, oh, you bastard. So we're gonna do the daily planner. Actually gonna do it this time. And then uh, I was thinking of some concepts. So potential thing in the pipeline. And you know, manager and I were talking earlier about um, how do we negotiate? Like what's our tactic? How do we negotiate deals? How do we do that side of the business? And it's, um, I was thinking like, if we're gonna do brand outreach, like let's send concepts with it so that the brand has something easy to kind of like sink their teeth into. So I said I'd sent him five um, ideas before tomorrow morning. I guess I'll just say that it's a food delivery company. Uh, so, I mean, you know which one of the few it is, not which one, you know what I mean. And so I was going through some series that I have or some like concepts of where I could integrate it. So one of them is learning to knife cut like a chef. I'd love to do that. I've had this idea for so long and I just have never started it. Um, but you know, I'm, that would be a number of episodes as I try and learn different things. And then one of them will be to order groceries through the app. Another one is 24 hours on a bouncy house. That would be a one-off concept most likely. And yeah, ordering food. And then I initially labeled this as RC car delivery, but I think 
I'm going to call it, I can't say what I had in my mind, sorry, because it gives the brand name. So I'm afraid, I, so yeah, that was all for nothing, I'm afraid, but I, I really like that idea. And then I have this Google Drive spreadsheet, if I can get to it, just full of ideas I have and what brands I think could link into it. Um, I, I feel like I shouldn't share this, right? Like as much as like you get stuck because one, I want to, like let's say these videos get seen, I'd want to inspire people to come up with their own ideas and I'd want to help people get ideas for things but I can't just give away all of mine because then you know if someone else does it first and then I come around to it it'd be like oh, all of it just copied off of someone else and we can't be having that um Oh, that was, I had actually an idea for this was that I do delivery with this, with this um, company on every type of, uh, what if I, m mode of transport. So like hoverboard, roller skates, mm, I would say penny farthing, but I'm not going to get a penny farthing, you know, just stupid e-bike. Crazy, whoa. But I have this flipping problem where I've only got like this much of a screen to read because the cell is locked. Who did that? Um, sorry for the pause. See, the, the thing with this food delivery, um, I feel like I shouldn't say this in case the partnership comes through, but like we never use food delivery services. Like we quite like the idea of going to get it. Now for me to advertise it, I feel like there's a part of me that thinks you shouldn't do that because you shouldn't, because you don't use it. But also that I'm like, I might not use it, but other people might like really see the value in food delivery and like find value in doing it. Like just because I don't see that much value in doing it at this point in my life, maybe other people do. Very good, Oliver, yeah. I thought I had more ideas in here than this. Oh, there's a whole nother spreadsheet. Where is it? It's not a spreadsheet, it's another tab, that's right. You thitty donkey. I don't think I can come up with, I'll have to go through, oh God, I've got, I've got so many lists of ideas. Like they, why aren't they all in one place? I've probably got, I'm not saying all of them are good. There's probably like 300 in here. I feel this is quite a nice scene, isn't it? Like it's quite chill. Nicely lit, got the little plant, that plant. Oh no, it's obviously fake. I had the label on it for bloody ages. I've just never got around to taking it off. All right, let's jump into, I'm just gonna do this on my own time. I'm gonna do, let's do a daily planner. Yes, okay. Let me stop this so I can record.
I didn't record any of that apart from me having done the screen recording. So uh, I guess tomorrow you'll watch me do it. <laughs> nice. Unless I have the audio on here, that would be. And, and then, yeah, now you can watch me do this. And then bye. <laughs> Let's get my ideas, my thoughts down. Sure, we'll share you. Oh gosh, cancel. Share. No, share. I've forgotten how to do this. Oh no, that's it. Oh gosh. Duplicate. Edit. Eraser, eraser. Uh, so we are actually all the way down here, yes. I spent half my bloody time rubbing stuff out. Do you as well. That is horrible, isn't it? Horrible mess. Let me just text her and say two more minutes. Two more minutes, sorry honey. Should have paused the timer for two minutes because I'll be up at 8.02. We're going to be down here in like 20 minutes after we put Ruby to bed. She's taking a bath. I'm going to do this. Um, all right, what do I want to do? So 8 and I am, we have brekkie. What are the things I want to focus on? I want to edit the TikTok. I want to plan uh, the 24 hour hand in lotion. I will need to script one of my videos. Script the sauna. Cool, so content day tomorrow we'll get, I imagine, edit, TikTok. It's probably gonna take me, let's say two hours. I'm leaving this because I have a call about something else. Um, plan hand. I don't think I'll need two hours for that. Uh, let's say we'll take a bit of a lunch break. Script. Sauna. Oh, that means plan it out as well, doesn't it? Uh, so you can go down two lines. Yes. Plan. I reckon I can split that in two. So instead of being done at five, be done at four. Um. I don't have anything. I'll do the numbers and stuff tomorrow, like I said. Um, yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? Oh, the date, which is 11 6. 11 6. Cool. 